knocked me out of my chair with that alarm. Uh, I had three I'm minutes awake. of I'm silence. Awake. I swear I'm awake. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, happy Saturday. Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> Welcome to Disney Night Live. I'm Mr. Sinus 2023. <laughs> I'm Mr. Sinus. What's going on, everybody? That's uh, <laughs> that's quite the countdown. We have some work to do on our intros and removing a certain sponsor from them. So uh, for now, we podcasters, kind of you'll up. never know. You'll, you'll never the know. magic of radio. It Theater just happened. Mind. You know, mm. we're just going to get rid of it as quickly as Disney got rid of Bob Chapek. It's okay. That's right. That's what we're going <laughs> to do. As quickly as Disney got rid of Kite Tails, am I right? But I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to see if I share this out to everybody. So give me another minute while you guys chat amongst yourself. I Welcome. Need your Hi, everyone. I love you. I know. You should it's, see. It's, so it's a very cuddly Winnie the Pooh kind of hidden Mickey yeah. Mouse. Everybody, hear you guys because of my hat, but it's cold, and so I thought I would showcase this. Yeah, love your melon, but I got to pick it up a little bit because I can't hear. Okay, well, we hear you just fine, and you look great. So that's what yeah. We're, we're gonna get. We'll just get you a, a pair of AirPods or something. Yeah. Okay. Right? Next yeah. show. Everybody chip in. Okay, guys. Uh, I, I will tell you really quick, just not to get off topic, speaking of AirPods, I did get a pair of AirPods. Who wants to guess how many days before I accidentally threw them away? Oh, <gasps> no. Two days. No. Three. Oh, I'm off by a day. Oh. Three days. I made it three days. In like yeah, even Colton has them and has not yeah. lost them, knock wood, because he's 14. But I'm like, said zero, by the way. I need to have my headphones on a string. I need to have yeah. and then to touch yeah. my neck. I need to know they're there. They so. are very tiny and they're very losable. I will I will vouch. Yeah. Um oh, I would be so sad. But I, I have a very cute yeah. case on mine. Would you like to see it? Of course. Oh. Yeah, and let me uh, let me take a second to oh wow, cute. Oh wait, wait, wait. Oh, Hold on. Oh, oh, right. That's oh, getting in a solo layout. Hold on for the Oh, Dr. Show. Allen, how cute is that, though? I mean, wow. so this is my inspiration to be a doctor. Get it? Because yes. it's all about inspiration. I love it. You keep fascinating me. I got to tell you, Alan. <laughs> I'm never surprised. I wouldn't say uh, Disney, I, I wouldn't fascinate. Hey, um, maybe, yeah. maybe, um, gape, gag, gog, gap, gape, gap, gap, I don't know. Just stare at it. He lost his ability to speak. <laughs> let me, uh, let me take a minute just to welcome everybody in appropriately. We are now that's Disney's Disney Night Live. We are a Facebook group called Now That's Disney. We are a live stream taking place every Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern called Disney Night Live. We are um, here every Saturday at 8 p.m. live. We can um, reach you many different ways when we go live. So we're streaming live right now in the Facebook group and our YouTube channel, uh, Twitter, my LinkedIn, um, and anywhere else we can get out to. We're also on Instagram. Uh, now that's Disney underscore DP. We are also on, I mentioned Twitter, we're everywhere, and we are trying to get the word out that we're here for you and your Disney-loving um, selves, so check us out all over the place. Thanks for tuning in. Happy Saturday. Uh, we were going to do a topic tonight, Best Breakfast at Disney World or on Walt Disney World property, but... Um, tomorrow, Kim and I have to select our dining for our April trip at 7 a.m. So we thought we'd change tune and uh, get the help of everybody, the hosts and the um, the people watching tonight, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, to help us kind of narrow down what we're going to pick. And we'll do best breakfast on Disney World property next weekend and yeah. be better prepared for that, which is a great topic when you start to think about all the different places you could actually go and get breakfast and the delicious food you can get. So um we're gonna we're gonna chat tonight about what Kim and I are going to select for our dining tomorrow morning. Um, we're live. Please share us out if you could. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, that's that's my spiel. I am still not feeling well, so I apologize for the nasally stuff going on. 
So a, kid, a little spoiler alert. I um, Tell us, one please. of the places Jason asked Jay Skipper Jay asked us earlier if there was anywhere that we wouldn't go, and all of us pretty much agreed that there wasn't. There wasn't any place yeah. that we really right. Hi, Michigan. Go. Aside from Tony's um, Town Square, right? Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, but um, what? Where I would not go originally is now on one of my top lists. Really? Top what? Yes. Do tell. So, I will once we get into the topic. Right. So, okay. so um, I wanna I wanna um, address a couple things again. I'm not feeling well. I'm like sweating downstairs in my basement. I'm not even drinking tonight. I'm on a major amount of steroids and antibiotics, and I'm I'm a little nutty. So, uh, Jay had an incident earlier in the week, and we are really happy that he's okay. Um, because that's just awful. And um, Jay, I don't know if you want to share your story. Well, okay. So I, I, I put on Facebook that, yeah, I got I got hit by a car on the way to work the other day. Uh, I will say this. What I, I, I may have left out was I had a couple glasses of wine with dinner and was um, Jay walking in the dark while wearing all black trying to get to work real quick. Right. So yeah. I'm not saying it was entirely um, not my fault. But it definitely wasn't not 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 my fault. Well, hey Jimmy Horn, what's going on? Um, oh, no. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, let, let's just say Jay wasn't driving; he was walking, and he got. I was quick. walking. It was Jay walking to work. Jay, we, wait, but anytime you walk, is that Jay walking? Right. Uh, right. Uh, right. <laughs> Jimmy Horn from the Disney Nerds and the Disney Nerds podcast is saying that he just went to Tony's and he thought it was good. If you haven't been there recently, he recommends giving it another shot. I do know that they recently redid their um, their menu. They have redone their menu. Right? Yeah, I've so, heard that. I haven't been. That's good uh, news. I, was, I saw a TikTok a few weeks ago or like a week or two ago that went around um, about they got this, I don't know, delicious looking bread. That you just pour melted cheese over on your table. Mm. Okay. And it looked delicious. So I'd be willing to try Tony's again just for that bread that you pour over you know, the cheese yeah. over. Tony's has has some add new menu items added, and I would like to uh maybe give it another try them out. Right. So they're no they know just like Hunt's Ooh. canned sauce over their food. Now they're just adding, you know, Hunt's canned sauce and a little bit of basil and oregano. Now, now they warm it up. No. Uh, oh, Lily, so. Lily says she was just Ooh, yeah. when, when were you just in Disney World, Lily? Because uh, um, I was just there too. Yeah, I think yeah. Didn't, Lily just went for a day as well, I think. And um Jimmy Jimmy Horn is saying that they did start charging for the bread, but it was amazing. So if it's amazing, I'll pay for it, to be honest with yeah. you. I don't know about you guys, but if something's really good and it was free and then it's not. And I still want it. I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to go. Oh, and Marie, what's going on? Hi, Hello, humans. Hello, humans. How are you? <laughs> and yes, that includes Alan. <laughs> that does include Alan. We specify him as a human, um, along a, with a Mike, human, who's got his new hat on. A human Muppet he is. <laughs> yeah. but he's our human Muppet. That's right. Um, <laughs> Mike, you got your tiki hat on, huh? I do. I, I do. love it, dude. Your it's my favorite great. hat. I do. Yeah. Tiki shirt. I have, have the same shirt. Do right. you? Uh, yeah. yeah. Mike, how, t how tall are you, Mike? 5'11". All right. If I was like five more inches taller and had a beard and hair, we'd be like matching. <laughs> okay. So right? so Mike and I are the same height, right? So Because I'm 5'11 also. So we're just going to hover over Dave. Yeah. Alan, you're 5'11"? I am. I'm yeah. shocked. I thought you were short like us. Wait, Dave, I'm 5'10". Five, I'm five I don't remember towering over you. I thought we were about the same height. No, I'm only 5'7". Kim's five, pushing 5'1". Five, Chris is six if I wear, if I, really, if I wear really good shoes, I'm six foot. Platforms, you're what, 6'2"? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <Right. laughs> I see Alan, Alan busting out his Elton John pumps right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, what the fish tanks yeah, inside? Really. I'm shocked, Alan. I didn't know you were that tall. I always thought you were a shorty like us. All right. Yeah, well, and I was tall as Kim. We we're, we're yeah. good, but right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, right. good things come in small packages. Hey, Ooh, Susan, they size. do. Damn, Chris yeah. is a big boy. Chris is Chris a big boy. Crocs. When I, <laughs> I want to see him eye to eye, I get on a stepladder. Yeah. 
You speak up and he smiles. <laughs> that's a tall. Mic. Yeah, it's a big guy. Yeah. Um, well, that's uh, you know what. I can't you know wait what? to meet everybody. We only we met Jay in person last year, so I can't wait to meet everybody else because it's always weird when you meet people in person that you've known for so long and you love, but you've never, virtually. you never were, yeah, virtually you were never around them in person. And then you meet them and you're like, like the first time, the first and only time when we were at Disney, we saw Tim Tracker. I, I, I never realized he was that tall. And you're kind of just like shocked when you see people. Yeah. Virtually, tall. right? Okay. He's like, eyes. Well, so well, well, really the same height. When we were chatting, we were eye to eye. So, you know. Oh, we yeah. yeah. At one time. I didn't. I, I would have never known. Uh, That's, now, Dave, what did, What are your dates again? What are your April dates again? So we are going April 6th through April 16th. Uh, sure. Travel day on the 6th and home oh, on the 16th. Okay. So everything in between is an oh. option for a meal. Chris yeah, is I, I need so, you. I need you there. I need I you say, at my Chris, Chris is watching. And um, I, I think even if the um, moving schedule doesn't match up, I might just have to come out for a couple of days real quick. Just like yeah. last time. Please. So, um, I need Chris there too. I um, want you know that's to watch the house. We can't leave our house alone. Um, but if he wants to go ahead and uh, uh, adopt that dog we were looking at, <laughs> so he's not oh. lonely while I'm gone, let's go ahead and do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, Jay, Jay, can you look at the 10th and 11th around there? 10th. I'm really hoping that everybody can make it out while we're there. That would be and awesome. I know that um, I Becky. Becky is going to probably be I, there I'm, well. I, I might be able to do the swing the 10th and the 11th. Hey, Larissa Krenzer, how are you? Oh, okay. Hey, I'm Larissa. Mwah. Love you, girl. Chris, I love you. Um, we'll talk about this later, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't come down here. Don't come yeah. down here. Yeah. Don't come Please. Down here. Stay upstairs. <laughs> well, we are looking. Stay upstairs, Rapunzel. <laughs> Do you guys want to? Yeah, I mean, so and this is our. I'm going to look at our notes. I'll tell you what our Wait, lineup is. Uh, Go ahead. Dave, did we? Um, what about uh, our friends over at the Magic World? Oh, we forgot. Oh my God! Thank no, you so didn't. much for. Rem I didn't forget. Yeah, you're right. Thank you for. I, I told you already. I'm. I'm not we feeling well. I'm not even drinking time. tonight. Proper Let me tell you. To build them up. Let's see. I, I have so many things to show you for D Magic World because tonight I loaded some new um, photos, some stock photos. This is the typical D Magic World logo, which is awesome. D Magic World 24 7 streaming Disney music magic. Um, they are dmagicworld.com. They're our friends, they are a sponsor of ours. We love these guys. And I went in and grabbed this snapshot here, nonstop Disney magic, which I always say every Saturday when we introduce the magic world, cause it is 24 seven nonstop Disney music magic. Um, and I also grabbed this snapshot because it shows you the screen of what's playing on the, um, the, the parks channel. So they have the, the, the um, theme park and then they have the movies. And when you're in there, you know, listening to them, it'll give you in this little box, what's been playing or what has been played and then if you put in a request it will also say request next to that song so mm -hmm. um, make sure you check out dmagicworld.com request something from them go into their archives and and um and select something and send it off to them uh jasper would uh be more than happy to get that going in there for you at a request and um they're on they're on 24 7 but uh, now that's Disney is streamed every Sunday and um, Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday and Thursday, Sunday and Tuesday. I get the days wrong every time. Look, look, Donald and Marie are going to be at the poly the 10th through the 14th. I think yep. that's a sign. Donald it's and Marie, do you guys listen party. to, um, do you guys listen to D magic world? If you don't, you can't come to the poly on the 10th of the 14th. That <laughs> just <laughs> So that's one of the things that you have in order to come to the poly party, you've got to listen to the magic world. Um, so who, um, I, who's got a couch that I can sleep on on the 10th? We do. Uh, we do. Okay. What day is your birthday? We do. Cause we have that little thing. We, we're going to, Alan, we're going to stick you on that little Moana. Um, no Lilo and stitch. Um, the pull down? thing. Oh, the, 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 on the wall. Yeah, yeah. It's totally good for you. Or you can sleep in the pullout with Colton. But he's probably he's fourteen and he stinks. 
we know how teenagers are. So, so uh, <laughs> well, we do have room on our little uh, on our little Lego and Stitch pulled out. <laughs> not allowed. We're not allowed to do that at the poly party. We're not allowed to poop. <laughs> the Murphy bed. Thank you. Um, I'm all over the place tonight. I can't even think straight. So. <laughs> I know, David. It's kind of hard. We're, we're, we're just sitting back and we want to ground you up and we're Word. Like, okay. Words. I'm on prednisone, and let me tell you, they Word. they like oh. wind you Word. up, they stress you out and drive your blood pressure. And I can't get a straight thought out of my head, but I had to dry out the sinus infection because it was setting off my vertigo. Um, so I, I again, I apologize. We um, let, let's go over our dining uh, or not our dining plans, but our, our plans. And this is again, only set because as you guys know, you have to have park reservations, right? See. So this is what we have. We get there on the sixth. We're going to get there late. We have no time for dining other than a quick bite, unpack groceries, go to bed. Right? So on the seventh, and I did this because the last time we went in April, we, we missed a day. Our, our flight was canceled. We missed a whole day, which was an Epcot day. So, I'm starting the trip off with Epcot um, on the 7th, and that is the first park day, and I'll tell you what I've been wanting to try because I've been watching a lot of vlogs, and, and we have been there before, but not for breakfast, but I, I'd love to get to Epcot early and go through the um, the International Gateway. No, oh, Colton's going to scare us. Um, <laughs> and um, and go to uh, Les Halles, the, the uh, Boulangerie. Um, and get some great French, um, you know, delicious stuff uh, and maybe do it that way. So that's just an option. But maybe you guys have a have a different option for, you know, if we're going to do breakfast, that's not at the resort that day. Yeah, and Dan, I'm just going to stop you right there and say I'm a thousand percent on board with that because yeah. you can get every kind of delicious pastry. Mm. Yeah. It, it, Anyway, yeah. the, the best ones in the park at, at, at that restaurant. Yeah, and they have like sandwiches with ham, cheese, yeah. and egg, and bacon, egg, and, and cheese. What time do they, and the, that opens really early, right? Because so that's, yeah, yeah. that's the you only place like in the world showcase. Food option for breakfast. One right. of the things that I feel like we lack knowledge of is when we get to, a, if we want to do an early park day and we don't want to have a sit down, but like our son likes to have a breakfast. You know, so a lot of times we're like rushing through Polly, um, Captain Cooks to get some to get some Mickey waffles or whatever. Right. But it'd be nice to get to a park at like 730 and then just quickly find a sandwich for him, a breakfast sandwich for him or whatever. So, yes. yeah, like the ham and Donald just said ham and cheese croissant. I right. never even knew that they were open that early. I'm going to I'm going to try this again because I should know by now with all the vlogs I watch. Le Le Hal, Boulangerie Patisserie, is that close? Yes. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm letting I'm letting I'm letting you take the leap. Yeah, I'll try. I'm standing sure. one foot behind you and letting you take the leap. Thanks for letting me. I'm, 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 I'm here if you call. I'm here if you call. How do you spell? I told you guys. So it's L E S. That's Uh huh. H A L L E S, but I think it's Le Hal. Yes, yes, that's Leal. Leal. Yeah. Boulangerie patisserie. Don't ask me to spell that. I, okay. I've got sweat rolling down my back from all the medicine I'm on. Um, so, Kim, you asked a question. <laughs> what time do they open? So that's the only place that you could actually eat in World Showcase in the morning because the yeah. other part of the park opens first and then World Showcase opens later. But you can get into the France section um at that time i guess when the park opens it's the only one that's available from my understanding so no, there's the restaurant in norway it's not open anymore um the the acker shoes yes that one i, I believe yeah oh, it that is reopening soon okay. i think it i think I, it reopened but i don't know about for breakfast. okay okay yeah. park well, opens at 8 30 is um Someone saying, I can't see the comments because I'm out of the app. That, that I'm, is a sit down. Am I right. the only one who loves Hi, Carol Gale. Akahoos, when they walk by. I, so, I, I know I'm saying it wrong, but I don't care. From what I was told by somebody was pretend you're saying soccer and then call it Ocker. It's Ocker shoes, like soccer shoes. That's how I was told to pronounce it by somebody at Disney. Oh, gosh. Kim, do you think I'm lying? So, Ocker shoes. 
Now I'm only gonna wear soccer shoes. Thanks, Dave. Soccer shoes, yeah, right? Soccer shoes. That it's it's definitely a good trick. I have right. tricks for first graders all the time to remember things. Teach them that one. Funny. We give them their diploma and send them on their way. So it looks like it's it's it shows it's just dinner. Um, yeah, that's that's so from I my understanding. That it it's just it is it done already, but maybe by well, the time you get there, you're the travel agent over there, so you should I'm know. Gonna- well, Mike, I, you should be helping her with this kind of stuff by yeah, now. Yeah, Lisa. Let's go, you two. Well, I knew it was opening. I just couldn't figure out if the breakfast was open yet. I didn't even think about that. I want to. I want you guys to start your own travel agency business. So we can call it like Mickey and Minnie's or, or Chip and Dale that. or something. <laughs> um, spell it, please. It's just... <laughs> yeah. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? <laughs> um for dinner, Kim and I, and this is, we're just throwing this out there. You guys tell us. We have maybe Rosen Crown or Le Cellier or te, uh, Tepanito. So is there anything? Alan's very excited. What do you think, Alan? All right. So let Alan talk. Yeah. Okay. First of all, <laughs> if you if you go to Rosen Crown. I oh, love Rosen Crown. Muted. Yes. Who muted you? <laughs> <laughs> gotta be, gotta be Jay. Hey, look at that grin. Look at Jay's face. <laughs> evil. Not evil. Rude. <laughs> I was not gonna put that extra adjective that I put last time <laughs> in front of the bubbles and squeak. Oh, uh, okay. The bubbles oh, and squeak. Oh, yes. At the Rose and Crown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so we oh, love Rose and Crown. Yum, yum. Um, so first, but seriously, I do love Rosen Crown. Rosen Crown is great. I also do love Teppanito. Um, I've yeah. never been to, I have not personally been to Le Cellier. I've heard a lot of good things, but Teppanito is one of my top Epcot restaurants. See, we've never eaten there at Epcot. I mean, I, I understand it's hibachi and we've had that before elsewhere, but it would be a lot of fun uh, to do that, you know, at Epcot. Um, we've never eaten at Le Cellier either. Um, so... Uh, you know, again, two, two points yeah. if I can make them there. One, La Celle is going to La is going to be feeling very, very heavy afterwards. Yeah. Right. And uh, mm-hmm. Tepanito, expect uh, two hours of your park day. Oh, right, because it's all yeah, shut. Right? Oh, yeah. okay. Thank you for telling us that, Jay. Yeah. That's really good to know because I don't want to do that. Um, yeah. And just so that people know, so our background with Epcot dinners and. I know that there's a lot of other things to eat at Epcot, but our son generally enjoys sitting down, getting out of the heat and relaxing. He Colton mm-hmm. really likes, uh, he is bougie and he likes to uh, sit down dinner. <laughs> and it, it's that. Gee, that, I wonder where he gets that from. I, I have no idea. Yeah. Not a foodie like me. So we've done. Um, really, this is the bougie podcast. Come on. We don't, True. we don't want to do anything it up. because <laughs> We're Italian and we we have really good Italian food here. And even like no matter what people say about the pizza, I grew up with Italian oh, okay. food, so it still gonna... just doesn't cut it for us. Uh the Mexico, um, we did not have a good experience at San Angel in no. um we did eat we love Rose and Crown. We've love it. we've eaten at Chefs de France a couple times, um, which we love we really liked. Um, back in the day, until the waiter spilled soda on me like three times, <laughs> we oh. had like the funniest experience. And yeah. I don't even like care that somebody makes a mistake, but it was like more than once. I don't I think he liked so you. Well, with soda, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, he also he also brought your steak undercooked like twice. So it was, yeah, we had one like night there that it was rough, but um, yeah, that, that's so a to get from, like mm-hmm. always going to Rosen Crown, or we actually believe it or not end up going to um, Nine Dragons. Nine Dragons a lot, and we can't go there this year, David, because if you remember last year, yeah, Colton was so mad because his dinner was. Remember the chicken? We got him. We got him chicken and mac and cheese, or chicken and fries from the me, the kids menu, and they brought it, it out on like a pan, a little panda plate for like a child. And, and he ate that, and he's like, "When's my dinner coming?" And Kim and I are like, oh, "That was your dinner." <laughs> so we had and to stop like, and get him a couple of hot dogs over in the African outpost. Uh-oh. Yeah, 
Yeah, a couple hot dogs uh, and a beer for me uh, at the African Outpost. Uh, well, got him. Yeah. Dave, Kim, let me ask you both. Um, yeah. Because have you, have you guys been – I know you're Italian, so I know you're New Jersey, and I know you're picky about pizza. Have you guys been to Via Napoli before? We did once. I yes. like it, to be honest it's with you. It's the only in, – in my entire, I don't know, 87 decades here on Earth, <coughs> it's Excuse the me. only time in my life I've ever had good pizza on Disney property – it's Nate. Talk to David because he's the one that owned a pizzeria with his family when they were little, and he's the yeah. one that made out the pizza. He was the pizza guy that flipped it around. Pizza, and the pizza. Come so and get the he pizza. Is, it's him <laughs> that's extremely picky. So um, I, I, I did like it. Napoli. I got to be honest, I did like Via Napoli because I thought the yeah the, the dough's like almost it. like a non. That's what I remember yeah. from it, right? It was. It was a. Yeah. It wasn't a typical pizza experience for me, and I enjoyed. It Indian was totally food non-typical food. Disney restaurant experience yeah. because it was Italian food that I enjoyed. Because right. I had pasta too, it was like I'll come back here every time. Yeah, yeah. And Donald and, and and you know definitely and you know and the we've had La Cellier reservations probably almost every trip, and I don't mm-hmm. know why, but every time it gets close to it, I cancel them. Why? Well, uh, yeah. because I look at the why because you want to annoy Dave. Little Miss Cancel <laughs> Cancel plans. Little Miss Cancel plans. Because <laughs> I don't really love steak. So then I look at the menu and I'm like, well, they've got other stuff. You could have soup. And, and this is a totally different vibe from eating in the park because you're right. it's meant to feel like you're eating in an upscale restaurant. So it's right. very in quiet. It's very watch my posture. I know where my forks are. Yeah. Donald did say something that. What's that, Lisa? No space two twenty beer garden. Oh yeah, did we forgot oh, about space two twenty? But there's like some other. So Kim won't eat at beer garden, but space okay. two twenty is a possibility. Um, just, and I maybe Donald said set set Colton loose in the buffet in there. <laughs> I would love it. Listen, I would love it because they have giant beers, and I would like the food. I oh, think Colton right. would find something to eat there, but Kim's not eating beer garden. I'll tell you that much. Is there anything oh. at beer garden to eat if you're not into no. sausage? And, no. You know, like no. okay, then no. I've seen the menu. The schnitzel was good. She I want to go to beer garden. garden. I like schnitzel. I like schnitzel. You'll eat schnitzel. The pork. The pork chops were real good. Oh. So I'm not a big German food fan either. I wasn't a big fan of, of the, the buffet over there, but yeah. there's a couple things that I ate. Like I ate the schnitzel, I ate the pork chops. Those were real good. Mm. Um, so there's a couple things that I found. So mm. I will literally dress up in Lederhosen like Clark not- Riswold <laughs> in the European vacation if we get to go there. It was, but the, it was fun. The band was fun. Great. Yeah, the I'll do it. It was real fun. It was fun. Yeah, the atmosphere is is a lot of fun, and I think the same thing for like Space Two Twenty. I'm thinking atmosphere. Right. I, that I might be cool. You've got a you've got a teenager. Yes. That you've got a, right. It sounds like there's a fight at the neighbor's house. I'll be right back. Go go ahead. Um, go spy. Yeah, I'm going to. Um, Lisa, I'm glad you brought it. I for, completely forgot about space, and I I didn't. I heard. I'm going to write that down. But. Let's try to get in there because Colton would love that. And I would love to go up yeah. there and eat. And it can't so, be that bad, right? Yeah. Um, the food food was awful. Oh, wow. The food was, the food was terrible. That um, bad? Like, not yeah, I would never go back again. Ever, 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 Whoa. Ever. Well, okay. so, but, okay. um, the, the, but the, like, the atmosphere was fun. Right. Um, I'd give it a, th- a three out of ten just for you. All right, Ken, listen, we're taking. We're and our, taking... our waiter was great. We're taking Space 220 and Teppanito out only because of Jay's advice of the time it'll take. So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave in there in our notes uh, Rosen Crown or Le Cellier for now. Um, everything okay at the neighbor's house, Jay? Uh, yeah, and, 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 it, it, it is a fight, but it's a drunken fight in the restaurant of the Italian uh, place across the street. You're Italian. Well, that's what I was just about to say. Italian place. <laughs> um, so Kim, back on Kim do you want me to add Via Napoli as a possibility? Because it does sound good. I would love... would love to do it. Okay, I'll let's do Via Napoli it. again. But right. you're always or... picky about your pizza. No, I enjoyed their pizza actually. I, I really did. Uh, all right, so Via Napoli is added on the eighth, which is uh, the next day. Um, 
after the Epcot, we've got Hollywood Studios. And Kim and I have been talking about um, heading over to Topolino's for breakfast. Because we've never we've never been to that resort before, and we hear great things about Topolino. Mm-hmm. So our plan was maybe One we could go to thousand spark. percent. Yeah. So One Alan's a, a, a an Topolino. agreement, Mike, Lisa. Yeah, I know yeah. I brought it up in the chat the other day because that's where I would that's where I would pick. And our friends just had what, oh, two, the the like amazing nice. the amazing character in action. Two adults, like they just. Absolutely loved it. Dory and Eddie were over the moon. Yep. So um, we have pictures of uh, ice. So we have pictures here is the the, yeah. the um. I have to find. It. I guess the trick to Topolinos. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. What what you do is you order your main dish, which gosh, I don't. I think I had the steak and eggs or something like that. And then you can get any of the other dishes as a side, like half order. Mm. However, you have to order it all at the same time. You can't be like, oh, you know what? Now I want to try this. Now I want to try this. Now so they have this. this. Right. So you have to order it all at the same time because you're like, my main dish, I want to be this. And then I want a side dish of X, Y, and Z. Wait, is the breakfast a fix a buffet no so you it's order your part. first you, you order one plate it's plated so you order a plate mm-hmm. um somebody mentioned the sour cream ruffles yes the sour cream ruffles are delicious but order this my suggestion is order your protein your meat or your main entree and then get a side of the waffle so, so you, you have something to else. Each each dish, though, separate or is no, it? No, it's all it's all included. Okay, okay. So, all right, this is good to know, Alan. So, what's the what is the price? Uh, I don't remember. I, it was a it was your typical buffet price. It was like, like five or yeah, forty or fifty ish. So then you're so then you're allowed to order. So I looked at the menu already, and I looked at pictures already that we can show, but. Um, like there was this Gourier, 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 um, omelet or no quiche. That looks so good to me. Mm. Also like a croissant. So okay. order the quiche as the side dish and, and you can get that. But like, so you can, or you're allowed to order for your prefix price. You're allowed to order one main dish and then one right. side dish. No, you can get as many of them in a side dish as you want. Okay, so I could order, I could try the waffle, and then I could try the in small versions. Right, except the only caveat, the only rule is you have to order it all in all together. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's cool. There's that cat. There she is, little mystery <laughs> oh. back there. Um, Lisa, yeah. Mike, you ate there. Their menu looks good. I'm, I'm sorry. What you got, did you did two of you eat there? We did not eat there. Okay. They, they begged right. us to go, but we, yeah. <laughs> we went to Magic Kingdom well, instead. That's all right. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, we, I looked, so, they, they spoke like so highly. They'd went like the day or day before and they wanted to go again. They wanted us to go wow. like that next day. It was, it was that life changing for them. So I, th- yeah. I, th- yes. I th- and one of the things we don't do is really hit the parks early because we usually get up, we'll have breakfast and go go swim, get that out of the way for Colton. But we talked about on this day getting up, doing breakfast at Topolino's, going to Hollywood Studios earlier, coming back swimming, and then we could always go back to Hollywood Studios or a different park, um, you know, because we could park hop. So, so that's the plan on that day, um, other than dinner, which we have to pick Brown Derby because if we don't eat at Brown Derby at Hollywood Studios at least once during the trip, it's not re- – is it really a Disney World trip? It's my favorite. It's I, favorite. I hear that. I love that. Yeah. I, I love that I feeling love of stepping back in time to, to a place yeah. that really existed. Yeah. I love the vibe. History. I mean, if you've never done Brown Derby, I I love the vibe. I love the old Hollywood vibe. And this is cool. So if you sneak up the stairs in that, like the back by the um, bathrooms, there's a stairwell that goes up to like God knows where. 
if you well, see we know where. up there, it's a door to Club 33. Mm -hmm. One time me and Colton went up there and we went on the door. She says, there's, a stairway, there's a stairway there to God knows where, but it goes to Club 33. So <laughs> we know where it goes and we're not welcome there. Okay. So well, don't if you go up those long enough, again. somebody just may answer. And well, wait, like, Kip, Kip, yeah. you, you and I are old Disney, but what did it used to be? What? And it what was the it? writer. No, not the writers. The, 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 the catwalk bar. Uh, what was up there? Yeah, yeah that's, what, that's what got it turned into Club 33. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it used to be bar you used to you could, you could go up and do. It wasn't the Cat Scratch Club from, from Red? <laughs> That's kind of cool. <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking of uh, uh, that one. That's fine. Tonight. <laughs> um, this is what happens when you go up the stairs and knock for too long. You know Christmas story where uh, he gets the boot in the face down the slide when he's seeing Santa? That's what happens to Kim. A bouncer comes out and plants his foot in her, and she tumbles down the stairs, and we get escorted out of this. Oh, ho, ho, Exactly. Ho. I have a bad oh, Donald, habit. I agree. I feel like oh, Alan, yeah. I feel like if you were there with me, you would like do bad things with me. Like I need somebody else besides Colton. Because last time we were at um California Grill, me oh, and Colton gosh. went to the bathroom and then we snuck back into like their private um I was like, let's go look around. And then there was this private party room and it was all set up for somebody really special. Okay. Kim, so when you go to Topolino's, then it's go sounds, walk around because like they've got some party rooms up there. Kim, you make it sound like Studio 54, like behind that door. There's like, yeah. guys, <laughs> it was just a back room at Cali <laughs> Grill with some signs that said, like, like and Happy Birthday, what, and I'm with else. him. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I can't right now, I can't, I can't focus on anything. <clears throat> I love it when I break Dave at least once a show. Uh, it sounded like Kim said, Alan, I really need you there so I could do bad things to you. Because I saw Lisa's face when Kim said that. She was like, oh. bad things with him. What is going? It sounded like to him. And now he's staying in our room on the Moana bed. I'm a bit nervous. And no, excited Dave. All that was. Really? You're actually staying on the Moana, the Moana bed. Kim and I. Oh. Okay, and Colton gets his own. As long as Colton's happy, I'm happy. Well, this show got weird. Waka, waka, waka. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. Hi, Becky. Okay. So hard to keep our family friendly rating. And then look at you all. Look at you so, all. Brown Derby, it is just for about bubbles and squeak. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, Marie was with me when I was knocking on clubs. Oh, yes. Marie, let's go look. Marie, you got to keep him out of trouble. I have Don no, yeah. I need a partner in crime. I'll just stand behind Donald because he's really tall and big. He can protect me. <laughs> just wait, Tim. Just wait. You you yeah. all getting all kinds of trouble. I um yeah. <laughs> I, I I have a plan for this coming trip when we go to these these restaurants for dinner. I am going to try to do a Manhattan or an old fashioned at each of them. Mm. Um, because um, they look good. One of one of the best old fashions that I've had on property was uh, the Edison. Yeah, I did see yeah. uh, that in a vlog. It does. Mm -hmm. It does look. Where is that? That's in Disney Springs. It's at uh, Disney Springs. Oh, okay. So, so we're gonna get to that. Yeah, I know. We're but, like. Yeah, we can't jump ahead. So so many things to talk about. So the next day is Animal Kingdom, and that's Easter. That's that's Sunday, April 9th, right? Yeah. So Kim had a great idea for Tiffin's because we ate there on our last trip and absolutely loved it. Oh. Um, that steak, I can't get it out of my mind. Like I thought it was, Kim wanted to go to Satuli Canteen. Oh, no, I do. She hates it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know. You don't I, like Satuli Canteen? I, I have Satuli Canteen on my list. I, I want it. I, oh I, I want yeah, well, one like cheeseburger pie. You, guys. So you I hated it. I did not like. She's so it. hard to deal with. Oh, they may have sabotaged you. <laughs> no, it's that protein you know, and she, bowl was real good too. She's I like Colton's bowl. all bougie about his meals and blah blah blah. And then Dallin, you were right. Like, where does he get that from? It's like Kim's got to have like the top notch <laughs> dinner meal. And if I want Satuli Canteen and a Blue Moose, I can't get it. Right. Okay. Well, no, 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 no. The the night we can stop there. Yes. 
and you can and we can have that for like a snack because right outside of Sajuli Canteen is the world's yes. best Pongo, Bavarian pong, pretzel. Pongo, Pongo. Right. Yes. Um, yeah, so over there. We so oh, do we yeah. have pictures of the um, AK snacks? So yes, let me find that inside. Because we're definitely okay. gonna have a snack in AK first, and these are my two favorite. Ooh. Oh, did you guys Ooh. have have any of you guys had those trilobites buffalo chicken chips? They came out a couple years ago. Yes, they're so mm, good. That looks good. Though. Anyone in our audience I'm, had them? Kim, I'm oh. having a hard time picking between. The, I I can't pick between the two. We're so, gonna have to get both. I'll tell you, I had a I had an get elephant the pretzel uh, in the buffalo chicken chips. The, the chips were so good, and I got a I got an old elephant um, beer there. But the the pretzel in a beer is delicious, or a night uh, night blossom. Um, I think what we should do, Kim, is go to Pongu Pongu, get the pretzel and a drink, and then I'll go into Satuli Canteen and get a bowl mm -hmm. and get my fill, and then Colton get whatever he wants, and we'll just have a little sit down. Yeah, and, uh, you know, because they're all like. <clears throat> If that's right. like anything like the the Bavaria pretzel in Germany, hmm. oh, it's so yeah. it's so good. We've had it before. It's Alan really good. It's so good. It's it's so good. it's like the one also that they serve at um, Baseline Tap House and the, the oh company. yeah, that one's real good too. Yeah, and yeah. the cheese is not the regular Disney pretzel cheese. It's like it's it's, it's like real cheese. cheese. It's not classic. Yeah. Right. So this this is Tiffin's and and um, the my bottom left hand corner picture is the steak that i had and yeah that was unreal um what else do we have here this or that tiffins are yakking yeti um the good news is we're going back to animal kingdom again and we could go to yakking yeti but tiffins has moved into that top tier uh restaurant right it's 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 a must yeah. in animal kingdom it was literally that good um and, no it was i right? i can tell you mm -hmm. Okay, I mean, I might get a lot of flack for this from everybody. I don't like Animal Kingdom. I, I just don't like it. It's my favorite don't. park, but I can oh understand. No. Goodness. No. What is wrong but, with you? But I will go to Animal Kingdom just for Tiffins. For Tiffins. It was that good. It was so, so good. It, it, it is that good. And what I also want to do um, as well for maybe a little break or like a pre-dinner thing is sit outside there at the, um, is that the Nomad Lounge? Yeah, that's yes. a nice spot. That's and a, yeah. If you've never done that, everybody, um, make that on your list for Animal Kingdom. We, we Animal Kingdom is actually mine and David's favorite park, but yes. we're huge animal people. And I just, I love the feel of that park. But, um, Me too that we did that last year for the first time sat at nomad for a little while and just got a small bite and a cocktail it's beautiful you sit that, outside no. there and you feel like you're in africa it's gorgeous and then we always loved yak and yeti and i still do i mean you cannot go wrong with yak and yeti no. but um i will say tiffin's really impressed me Mm -hmm. yeah. David's steak, and I'm not a steak person. I was mouth watering. I was jealous. Hands down, one of the best steaks I've ever had. The rub on the outside was so crispy and flavorful, and the inside was you could cut it with a fork. What are you laughing at, David? Mm -hmm. You could cut it with a fork, and it was Nothing. so tender. <laughs> yeah, they, they need to list. They need to list Tiffins as an attraction, not a restaurant. <laughs> I thought maybe yeah. Jay would Jay would catch on with me. I, I think got Alan. I, get, I got it. I got it. I'm trying not to laugh. Okay, <laughs> I'm a child. You are so. Um, I am very immature. Um, so <laughs> you're hiding your face. Alan, what are you getting? <laughs> I'm being red right now. <laughs> what am I? What so am I doing? Sorry, where? So what? Good. A meeting? I'm hungry. I'm David, hungry. Uh, Alan, what is your favorite? Because I know you love Tiffins. What is your favorite dish? <clears throat> Tiffins. Um, so I will say I uh, so I was there during the 50th celebrations coming to an end this March. Um, I had the, the 50th anniversary dish, so I don't think it's going to be around when you guys mm -hmm. get there. Yeah, that um, ends. But it was it was a veal <laughs> steak, which sounds like it was equally as delicious as Dave's. Yeah. Yeah. Everything was plated perfectly together and everything on the plate was cooked like it was just delicious it was really just well done um no yeah you're absolutely correct donald i'm sorry 
of um, such a child. Um, so yeah. Nomad Lounge is a must, and Nomad Lounge is really cool day to shifting to night and to sit there um, because you're on the water. So that's something I would like to do. I would like to take some time and really relax on this trip and not yeah. move so fast. And I'm telling myself that, not um, not Kim, because I tend to do that. Kim's cracking up. <laughs> Wait, can, I, can I backtrack real quick to something Kim said? About, about yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what I'm thinking about, I can't even say now because our our tradition, because Animal Kingdom closes early, and our tradition yeah. is usually to end the night with flight of passage and coming off flight of, flight of passage. We usually get a pretzel to go and, and those uh, um blossoms with the floating ball. The night, the night blossoms with the. Right. I, I just can't. That's um, the. I don't can't, know. We can't bring yourself to say the balls, <laughs> right? The it's tapioca good. balls. Yes. What do they What do they call them there at Disney? Boba. Boba. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> they call <laughs> them that normally, like all places. Right. But Boba. Because, thanks. Not, <laughs> not Boba Fest balls. No. For some reason, when you're Wait. when you're not not fancy, you call them floating balls. Because the first time we had that, we were leaving the park, David. Do you remember? And we were, I honestly, guys, I did not mean this at all. No <laughs> pun intended. I was drinking it and there was a man next to me and I go, oh my gosh, these balls in my mouth are so cool. <laughs> because the balls, the boba balls are really Wait, cool. are we going to have to edit that out or can I <laughs> started sighing laughing. <laughs> oh, God. These balls are too big to get to the show. <laughs> <laughs> she's saying, she's saying all these things. They're popping in my mouth. I'm like, that's enough. That's enough. It's just tapioca. I can't even. Oh, I'm sorry. That guy will never bring his family back to Disney again. Or oh, one drink. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> no, in reality. So they went I to have, go get that drink. Yeah, they probably did. Yeah, right. right? Like this, when, this when the, 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 the wife, the wife was like, "Honey, let's go." <laughs> <laughs> this is not made up. It's very true. Uh, God. Well, let me tell you guys the, so move, the moving story after we're done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, was, on air, guys. We're not even halfway through. Your we're not. Trip, we're we've got, got ten minutes left. We've got, all right. So, so, um, the tenth Magic Kingdom. It's got to be. It's got to be Cali Grill, or Skip we're asking your here. advice. Well, so we could head over to Grand Floridian. We've never actually eaten at Grand Flo, and we want to know what you, if you're going to go go to Grand Floridian for dinner, what place would you eat at? Hold on. Oh, I just did this on Tuesday. See? Okay, tell. Grand, I had dinner at Grand Flo Cafe. Okay. Good. Delicious. What'd so, you have? Um, Almost everything. So I had the fried chicken. The, oh. the breading on the chicken was very crisp mm. and, and and very good, very heavy on it. It wasn't real thin. Like some was the chicken eat. moist? Oh, it that was, was so it was good. Egg. Oh no, no, that no, that's homecoming. That's oh. homecoming. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry. That's okay. I. I yeah, I wasn't paying attention to the chat today, and I didn't realize we changed the topic. That's so fine. That was Don't my worry about Thanks, Alan. Um, yeah, sorry. Um, so, so you but, you would no, recommend no, no, um, the cafe? It is a chicken breast fillet. It is boneless, um, real good. I would like that. Uh, I would if you get the the chicken. I would get the sauce on the side. I liked dipping it because they just drenched the chicken in the sauce. Right. I liked having the option to dip it myself first right um and it came with some some beautiful potatoes and it was real good uh a friend of mine had the lobster thermidor burger oh i want that mm. it, it was he had he let uh I, he let me have a bite it was I, that's what i'm getting next time yeah it was that, i've heard really good things <laughs> wow the burger the patty was perfectly cooked and perfectly seasoned the lobster was delicious on it it had a beautiful like Almost like a hollandaise kind of sauce mm -hmm. on it. Um, yeah, I know. I'm like, yeah. like I'm almost Italian, He's doing right? Yeah, oh, your 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 introductory. <laughs> I'm a speech teacher, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, so the the lobster, 
the next time I'm going to go for the lobster burger. Um, that's going to be my thing. But yeah, I would definitely recommend Grand Flow Cafe breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Um, really? Yeah. Okay, David, that's great to know. Yeah, and we're right near. I mean, we're staying at the Poly, so it'll take us two minutes to head over yeah. to Grand Floridian. What's the so. price point? Um, what's the price point there, Alan? Like, it can't, be, it can't be as I expensive as Pally Grill. It wasn't bad. No, I think my my fried chicken was was I think twenty five thirty. This was twenty twenty six for the fried chicken, twenty three for yeah. meatloaf, the lobster burger twenty six. Yeah. A New York strip is thirty six. <clears throat> that's the highest. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, um, there's season, not bougie, there's seasonal bougie, soup like... right now. No, it's not. Okay, so and I could seasonal swap soup right now. Years. Yeah. Oh, I totally did. Shorts, t-shirt. I was fine. Okay, good. Um, but they have a it's a butternut squash bisque with pistachio. Oh, that was mm, good too. Yeah. Um, that's right. Well, so I, I think we might we might have to try Grand Floridian Cafe, Kim. Um, yeah. On the eleventh, eleventh um, is a is a is a non park day, but I did pick Epcot just to have a park reservation, but that's our I'm pool right hanging out day. Go ahead. Uh, I'm just going to try to get through some of this pretty quick since we're running out of time. So I did write down just Kona or question mark. We might just pick Kona as a placeholder. Um, the 12th. Uh, wait, one, wait, 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 yeah. Kona, Kona, what meal? Dinner. Oh, I, I, I like Kona for breakfast better. Yeah. I'm with Alan. Yeah. So they do have a different menu now that we haven't tried. I haven't heard great things about it, but I mean, it's like I said, it's a pool day for us. Um, we could do Captain Cook's, something you know, simple. We could try to get into Trader Sam's and have some light bites, uh, what you know, whatever. So that's kind of like an open day. The twelfth is back at Hollywood Studios, and Kim had said sci-fi or fifties prime time. So which one? For this is for dinner. Prime time. Um, prime time and ask for cousin Kim. Cousin Kim, I'm married to her. <laughs> no, no, not that cousin Kim. The other cousin Kim. I'm like Jerry Lee Lewis. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah. No wonder they're I all just got it. I just got He it. sure got oh. pretty teeth. Well, be I'm such a well-behaved skipper. Yes, you I'm are. Such a well-behaved uh, skipper tonight. All right, let's. Well, I have only had the one beer. <laughs> I've had no beers. Um, so, so fifties prime time. Then we'll do on Hollywood Studios on the twelfth. Uh, we're we're back at Animal Kingdom on the thirteenth. We have like park in the morning. We're saying, do a swim, come back. And now we're talking about doing something we never really do is heading to Disney Springs and we have down Chef Art Smith for dinner. Yes. Yes. Can't okay. wait to see you so, either. Jay, Jay, those four pictures with, with that chicken, si, those senora? all go together. And That's okay. all Chef Art Smith, Art Smith right? Yeah. And this is our show. We can run a couple minutes over. It's not like we're going to get in trouble. Yeah. Right? Okay. I mean, if somebody needs to leave, they can. But okay, so better. this is the uh, country fried chicken. I want to try this. With the smashed potatoes, it is okay. So I know this looks like a regular size plate, but it's not. It's actually the size of a giant's plate. Um, <laughs> I ate about. I ate. I literally ate about half of it, and and that was all I could eat. Wow. It was good chicken. Like it's nice white meat chicken. Yes. Like it's not all weird. Yes. And I already know what I no, want from, because from here. I know they, what I want. They yeah. s they soak all their chicken in buttermilk. Oh. I want. I I, um, I want the um. I can tell you, I definitely want to try the um, devil the, eggs, the, the, the devil oh, eggs, the fried green the tomatoes. One, oh, yeah. you mean those? Yes. Uh, okay, those are the deviled eggs. I want to so try that good. and the fried green tomato. And the fried green tomatoes; those are in there too. Yeah. I've I'm actually getting there. I'm getting there. Right there. Oh, that. look at that! Oh, That's so beautiful. good. Mike, have you had those? I have not. No. What would you eat? That is that something you would? Uh, is it? <laughs> fried green tomatoes. It's got like a ham on top. It's a tomato. A, that's yeah. a uh, a piece of green tomato that's breaded. Mm -hmm. Yeah, with ham and. I, I like green tomatoes, but being that I'm allergic to the pork She's and allergic the, to the ham. Wow. <laughs> so they're, so, they're probably so, probably not. Mike is Lisa's pork guy because he, he yeah, eats the pork she can eat. Yes, right. He saves my so, life every day. Yep. Yeah. That's um, why Mike is here. He's Lisa's pork guy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Mike just has to sacrifice, for, sacrifice himself for the pork. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> Guys, I swear I haven't had I haven't had one drink in like four days because I can't. I'm on medicine. I'm done. I'm done tonight. I'm done. I'm done. It could be the best show ever. I, I I'm never drinking again. Yeah, you're just gonna take take steroids every steroids for the rest steroids of my life before every show. Lord have mercy. Um, yeah, <laughs> Lisa. Poor Lisa. Lord. A lot of the times I either get the pork on the side, right. you know, or I have to talk to the chef every time because I know that yeah. lots of you have food allergies like I do. So anything that I'm not allowed to eat, they have to know. I'm not allergic to <laughs> pork, so all the meat. Me either. Me. <laughs> <laughs> not, a not a problem here. Anyways, moving on. Uh, we do have some fun drinks at Chef Arts. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I did make um two copycat recipes. I, mm. I can cook pretty well, and I made yeah. um fried green tomatoes this summer. No, yeah, they were this good. fall because our tomato garden produced <sighs> no red tomatoes in the summer, and then ap like literally October, right, David? Yes. We had like. A thousand green tomatoes in our garden, and it was cold. It was the weirdest thing. I ate them, and I don't like tomatoes. I was like, I'm gonna try fried green tomatoes, not being a southern girl. And I looked up like Chef Art Smith's. Um, everything food. sounds like a double entendre now. It really everything. does. Everything. I'm not even talking about when Alan said the chicken didn't have a bone in it. Um, <laughs> 14th Magic Kingdom be our guest, Skipper Canteen, or the Plaza? Skipper Dinner? Canteen, Skipper. Skipper Canteen, skipper. always Skipper Canteen. I've been to Plaza for breakfast. I've never been for dinner, so I can't I, vouch for dinner. I, and I genuinely like Plaza as a restaurant. I like its location, like its menu, like its staff. But Skipper Canteen every time. And here's a, here's a trick. And I, I don't know why this works, but this works. I tell people, tell them at the front when you check in, Skipper J said to put you in the bookcase room. And they will? And they'll do it, and it works. It's worked every time I've told someone to do it. It's hilarious. We're gonna do the, bo it. the bookcase room. The bookcase yeah. room, yeah. yeah. Right. Skipper J what said like to. There? What do you like there? I like the book. And the, I like the bookcase room. That's a nice room. Yeah, yeah. My, my favorite thing is the. It tastes like chicken because it is chicken. Uh huh. Right. Yes. I want to get so the Kungaloosh beer. They, that's one of the only places you can get the Kungaloosh the beer. The Kungaloosh beer is get two. Yeah, get two. And I, I like I like that. And I think I would typically choose be our guest, but again, mm -hmm. it's that long experience. If you're yeah. if you're wanting a shorter I shorter. I love we've done be our guest too quite a yeah, lot. Quite a lot, right? And I so. always like it, but I, I I would like to we did we did uh skipper canteen once and um it, it was, was like a lunch. Yeah. 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 What I like about it is yeah. it's it's its place, its presence, its its function in Adventureland right. is it really kind of opens the story. It adds to the story of Adventureland because your your servers are skippers trying to make extra money on their off hours. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, I I liked it a lot, and I know there's a secret menu there, so there's other options that you could possibly get. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that is Animal Kingdom on the 14th. Our last full final day is the 15th. I picked Epcot again because, you know, on this kind of day, we pack. We're going to do some pool. Um, but, again, I put down an option for Epcot if we want to hit in early to do less Leal. Um, if we don't do it on the other day. Um, and, again, wrote down for dinner, Rosen Crown, Le Cellier, or Chefs de France. Um, What's so the restaurant in Epcot uh, in the beginning that we never eat at that has the revolving thing? Garden Grill? Oh yeah. yeah, Garden Grill. So that's a bre you, their breakfast is supposed to be good. Yeah, some people have dinner there. Yes. Yeah, I've had dinner there. The dinner was the dinner was good. Are yeah. you, it's, 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 it's your typical Disney buffet. Right. Typical Disney buffet, but it's one of those rare places. I don't think I've ever heard of a bad word. I have never it. heard of a bad thing I, either. I've heard I've heard it's it's got like a B B minus, but never a C. That right. makes sense. No. Right. Um, okay. If you if you really really want cool ambiance, um, coral reef at Epcot. I really knew that's cool. what you were gonna say. Yeah. I knew that yeah. because of the. Oh, is, I use it's the beautiful. Experience. But what about the food? Is it good? Um, so I had the 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 fish. It was good. Uh, Marcos is not a fish person, so he had the steak. 
his was good. Um, when we went, this was pre-COVID, so this was we were on a meal plan, and it was plenty. It was delicious. Yeah. yeah. He gets, um, he gets a bad rep, but let's be honest, the, right. the real joy of that restaurant is getting the a table by a window in front of the tank, and as you eat fish, pretending to go, I'm eating your relative. <laughs> Was this like a steakhouse where you like pointed to the tank, you go, I'll have that one. I'll have that one, and that one, and that one. <laughs> and it's great when, when, when a driver comes by, yeah. you're like, I want yeah. that one. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, that, might, that might bother me. Yeah. <laughs> but, but we can we we do eat like meat and fish in I Animal know. Kingdom too. So you're in Animal Kingdom looking all of the all the wonderful animals, and I'm well, like, yeah, I'll have the steak. So we'll tell you guys, I'm giving you a free skipper joke here to take with you. If you eat at Coral Reef and you're eating there with the, the fish swimming by, you eat your fish, and the waitress asks if you need anything, go yes, I Nemo fish. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's pretty much what we got so what do you do you guys have any choices lisa and mike did you uh anything else we didn't we really enjoy i know you it's not too far but any of those nights that you're at the poly that you think oh i'll go somewhere else we still like whispering canyon oh i love it yes yeah. you're right you know what thank it's you for bringing that far. up but, you know, it might be, especially like your pool day, it might be a good little yeah. trip over to Wilderness yeah. Lodge and, and think about Yeah, that. I said that to Kim that's earlier, too. Good, I'm like, uh, it's close. Yeah, Lisa, that's a good, um, you know, we sometimes forget about Whispering Canyon. We did eat there right. um, when we stayed there. Um, and I always keep forgetting about it. That it's, you a, know, um, it's and it's delicious. It's a really it good, it's fun. <clears throat> it is fun. Oh. And it, Really good food, everything the drinks, the food, everything is delicious. Yes. The cornbread, will, um, the cornbread. <laughs> I'll throw this one out there too. Um, over at Fort Wilderness, pretty soon Trails End is closing, and yeah, they're, they're closing it, right? Re theming it to something else or to right. a, a, like a, I think grab a fixer, and go. right? Yeah, grab and go type yeah, deal, right. mm -hmm. grab yeah. and go. Um, so Trails End, I would hit Trails End before it closes because I, I do, I like Trails End, it's family style. Ask for the fried chicken instead of the um, other chicken because they share kitchens with Hoopty Doo. Right. So it's it's the Hoopty Doo fried chicken, and they'll bring that to you instead. Well, that's another option. I mean, yeah. um, right. what's what's it's the fair. other restaurant in Wilderness Lodge that has the 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 Evil Queen and Artist, characters? Or no? Oh, Artist Point. Artist, yeah. Artist yeah. Point. Yeah. I I've, I've been there once. That was fun. Um, that was also pre-COVID. Um, right. So I don't know what it's like now. Okay. So Some wilderness is hear a lot about artist point. Not much. Only when it first opened. You know, I it's I, I don't do character dining, but it's a place I I would go. Oh, hoopty do would be the hoopty do would yeah. be really fun. I would love to do hoopty do. I've never done it, so you know what that's I something did hoopty do, do as a little girl, and that's the last uh -huh. I remember of it. And and what? yeah, like it's the best fried chicken on property. <laughs> yeah, so we get it at Trails Inn. <laughs> and, and unlimited beer. Well, listen, it's something we can do because I've never done it. I think Colton would like it, and uh, he loves fried chicken. So do I. So does King. It's, it's a lot of corny jokes. I mean, we've right. been great with those tonight. So we I just did a whole hour of it. I had another one that I didn't say. Yeah, I mean, I'm here every <laughs> week. I mean, you haven't got you haven't got sick of them yet. <laughs> Uh, real quick, I, I will give you guys one, one a suggestion. Uh, since we are walking from one property to the other over the contemporary, if you guys get burned out, a little too, a little too much noise, a little too much people, a little quiet place, the outer rim is still open. And what I like about it is it faces Bay Lake. All right, it has an awesome, awesome um, sunset, um, sunrise. But um, most people don't go over there because it doesn't face Parkside. So if you need a little quiet getaway. That's always a good spot. Where yeah, and, um, and you can and you can get food and drinks. Yeah, you can, and you get food there also. So Kim, that's the bar. That's the bar sitting area right before you go into Chef Mickey's. Right. If you're at Contempo Cafe. Uh huh. On the, yeah, it's over there. kind of by the what is that the, the escalator? Right. Exactly. Oh, right. It's real quiet. It's real low key. Right. Yeah. There's like people by a window, sitting. Yeah, and you can get food there. You get food there, yeah. So if you have like a moment where it's it's just too much, uh, you can quietly slip in there, and it's it's a nice, quiet place with a great view. 
Is the, it, it takes you out of the whole Disney thing for a few minutes if you need it. Yeah. Is the villain's lair still open to a top of the world? Because that's something we could try to do if they allow kids. Oh, yeah, with you. Because hmm. because um, I, I, I haven't heard a lot about it at all since it opened. Don't know. I went in October and it was there, but that yeah. was October. So I watched some, a, re a review of it. I got, I got to be honest, it wasn't impressive. They should have no, just left it the way it was. Right. Um, right. So it, we so okay. Here's the thing: we went right after the fireworks ended because we were staying at Bay Lake, and we were like, "Let's just go get a drink real quick." And they continued the villains theme through the end of the night, even though the party itself was over. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And it wow. wasn't worth the money. Right. Wow. Hmm. Okay. So we got into it without paying the party fee. We just right, the right. Drink, the drink. So scratch, scratch that right. off the list. Then I'm yeah. Sorry. Before was, we go, I mean, okay. Don, Donald has has volunteered himself as our DD. You, you all heard that, right? <laughs> yep. I I hate to say that we can't stumble far from the poly, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, <laughs> that's why I like staying at Disney. We just take a monorail, bus, or you know, boat, whatever. Um, oh, oh, can we go? Can we make Monday night our Epcot night? <laughs> I was just thinking of you, Alan. We're ten minutes. We're almost ten minutes over now. Um, but I, I, that's okay. I still want to make Monday night our Epcot night. At least me, Dave, and Jay. Come on, let's do it. Okay, I'm in. Yeah, we'll go. It's not a problem. All right. We can do. And then but, I'm going to come I'm back. I'm not invited. Of course streets. you're invited, Kim. I'm so is Colton. Of course you're invited. But you're coming with you going to get shammered like us? Yeah. My main word. Really, really, yeah. really, you wouldn't have to ask. Um, <laughs> How dare you? Like, question. Hey, you Gary. Okay, we need to talk about this off air. Yeah. Because I, yeah. I, 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 now I'm determined. Now I'm going. Sorry, Chris. I know you're watching and you're going to sit here and watch now, but I'm, I'm going and, and I'll see you. We'll talk about this off air. Yeah. I can get there till Wednesday. So um, we'll miss the, the 10th. Meet up. Meet Just up. get there meet when you up. can. Yep. Um, I'm gonna hit our intro and I'm gonna I'm gonna take our intro. I'm gonna hit outro. the outro. The outro. Thank you. Our newly uh, revised outro. Missing one slide. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight to now that's Disney's Disney Night Live to help us select our ADRs for our upcoming trip in April. I want to thank D Magic World, our sponsor, dmagicworld.com. We love you guys. Please give them a listen. You won't regret it. I want to thank everybody for joining in tonight and checking us out and, and our co-hosts here for tuning in and, and hanging with us. Um, we love you guys. Have a great rest of your Saturday and a good weekend. And um, Hi, everyone. We'll, we'll, we'll chat soon. Here's Bye. our uh, Here's our outro. Alan Smells.